Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning. Hello students. In this session, we are going to discuss about few limitations of dimensional analysis. We know dimensional analysis is quite helpful to find the relation between different parameters in a particular equation, to find the dimension of any unknown quantity, right? But it has got certain limitations. To talk about the limitations of dimensional analysis, the first thing that we want to discuss that we cannot, we cannot apply dimensional analysis this particular way to find the value of any dimensionless constant in your equation, right? So if your equation has got any particular, any particular parameter which is dimensionless and it's constant, so you cannot determine the value of that dimensionless constant with the help of dimensional analysis. So the first drawback is value of dimensionless constant, right? So you cannot find the value of dimensionless constant using this way. Secondly, if any particular parameter or any particular quantity depends on more than three factors, then you cannot analyze the value of that particular parameter because you will get only three equations by equating the power of mass, length and time. But if, you are, if any particular parameter or quantity is a function of more than three factors, then you cannot determine its value or analyze it with the help of dimensional analysis. So number two is issue of more than three factors, right? So value of dimensional constant you cannot find using this. You cannot deal with any particular quantity or any particular parameter which is a function of more than three factors. And thirdly, you cannot analyze an equation that contain exponential function or logarithmic function, right? So if any equation, if any mathematical equation or if, if any equation of physics that contains any exponential function or logarithmic function, you cannot analyze those equation using dimensional analysis, right? So logarithmic function or exponential function, right? Or you can say trigonometric function. So this, if any equation contain all these type of terms, then it cannot be explained with the help of dimensional analysis. So student in this session we have discussed about limitations of dimensional analysis. Explore more about the topics you love with Topper. Subscribe now and keep learning.